Good morning, boomers. The voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's biggest cousin, crypto's finest champagne. Thanks for tuning in. Big shout out to all the boomers out there. Happy Wednesday to everybody tuning in. Shout out to everybody on YouTube and on DLive. Today, we're going to be talking about five potential blockchains for the U.S. digital dollar. Yesterday, it was reported that the Boston Fed is looking at at 30 to 40 blockchain networks for digital dollar experiments the fed is now officially collaborating with the digital currency institute out there in the massachusetts institute of technology mit and uh they're gonna roll it out guys and you know what i've been saying i think that the body's already in the bag they already have the blockchain that they're gonna use uh but you know again that's just me imagining things you know i don't have anything directly no direct evidence but uh, let's see you know the official news here is that they're looking at 30 to 40 blockchains and we're going to go through them and talk about five potential blockchains i was just thinking about it yesterday i was looking down and said you know which one could potentially be the ones i i don't know so i'm going to give a wild guess and uh i will encourage you guys to do the same so uh, make sure you drop a comment let me pull up my chat box here because I don't have it up yet. Where's my chat box? I've been changing this thing. I have no idea where my chat box is. It seems like every other day they've been ch changing the uh, user interface over here on let me, guys show, let me show you guys. I've been using Restream.io, and this is what my interface... No, that's not it. This is what my interface is looking like right now. I can see they got 10 people over there on, on YouTube, DLive, but I can't find where I would click to uh, look at my comments. They just switched this up. I use this thing every day, and I like it because you could Restream. There it is, chat app. I found it. Boom. All right. Okay, now my chat's is ready and waiting for new messages. I'll be able to see the chats from both YouTube and DLive right here. So shout out to everybody tuning in and uh, excuse the the hole up here. Today we'll be looking at five potential blockchains for the US digital dollar. Yesterday it was reported that the Boston Fed is looking at 30 to 40 blockchains for a potential US dollar. They are collaborating with MIT Digital Currency Institute and uh, they're about to whip it out, guys. I mean, that's what I've been saying. So today we're going to run down the prices. We're going to run down the coins and see uh, what's shaking and baking. Good morning to Crypto Elf. I see you. Good morning to Derek Smith and uh, the rest of the boomers. I would like to hear what you guys think. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make some guesses today and see what are the potential blockchains because they said yesterday that they're looking at existing blockchains. They don't want to just do something brand new. Okay, so I don't know if that means that they're going to adopt a blockchain or if they're gonna pick a blockchain's technology and then recreate it but uh anyway we're gonna look at some potential existing blockchains that may be adopted for the u.s digital dollar uh as bitcoin's price is starting to go back up we're looking at bitcoin up uh one percent today it was under pressure yesterday let's look at the charts we'll run down the mathematics and um we'll whip it out and let you see the blockchain <laughs> you got it lady plants shout out to lady plants boom and uh, let's go ahead and share the uh, charts. You see uh, Bitcoin, you know, after taking a dip yesterday down a, a low of 11,254. Uh, it's responding now going back up to 11,487. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about this. Okay. The fact that it's above 11,000 uh, holding steady. It, it dipped yesterday. Guys, you know, there's going to be some pullbacks. This thing's not going to just go straight up 90 degrees. There's going to be days that it pulls back. And um, I said yesterday it may be an opportunity. Now, we know that tomorrow the... 
chairman of the Fed, Jerome Powell, is going to make a profound announcement, is what they're saying, a profound announcement. It's going to be in relation to inflation uh, and perhaps even more. Some are speculating that it may drive the price of Bitcoin northward if they uh, commit to expanding ex- inflation. So, you know, let's keep our eyes on that. Let's run down the math. Uh, where is my... There's CoinGecko. I'm looking for coin market cap, but I'm not using them any, anymore. Or, or as of late, I haven't been using them. And I'm glad because, you know, they're already listing Polkadot. And on coin market cap, I have not seen Polkadot. Someone called me yesterday, though, and said, Champ, you know what? I saw Polkadot there on coin market cap. It looks like people are going to start FOMOing. And you know that uh, Polkadot keeps moving. Polkadot is that new coin. Uh, that's, you know, a, a smart contract platform plus more. It's brand new. Uh, I believe it's, I don't know if it's co-signed or co-created uh, by Mr. Uh, what's his name? Gavin. I forgot this guy's name. Gavin out of ETH Ethereum. He's one of the co-founders from Ethereum. So uh, we'll talk about Polkadot. It's up 90% in the past seven days, up 17%. And actually, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I FOMO'd a little bit into the Polkadot early yesterday, and I'm actually in the green. I usually don't do that, but I got a couple hundred there, and I just threw it at the dot. And, and, you know, it was basically a gamble. So I'm green. I may consider just taking some profits because, listen, let's let's face it. At at some point, Polkadot's going to pull back. So uh, I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon, though. So let's run down the math. Hold on. Let me pull up my chat box. Hate to say it, but I think would be perfect for Ripple, says Derek Smith. We're going to be talking about it. We're going to be talking about it. We discussed that yesterday a little bit, and I, I want to expand on that a little bit today. Lady Plant says, we don't know what the IMF is going to do. They're sneaky. You're right. Lucian says, Polkadot has a lot of hype now, but will dump hard soon like all new coins. That's what I'm saying, Lucian. You know, uh, even if a coin's you know good with technology-wise and it's sound, usually you know it debuts and there's usually a pullback. Okay? So um, let's see. And because of that, I, I may, you know... I may take some profits. I FOMO'd into DOT yesterday because I had an extra couple hundred there on on, uh, on the exchange. I said, ah, let me let me give it a whirl. And I'm actually up, so maybe I just pulled a profit. Lucian says, in the long term, I think it will do very well. Well, you know what? I, I, I w- must admit that, you know, the response with DOT as far as, you know, the tech technicals and the way it technically work, uh, it, it seems uh, favored in the community. I haven't heard anything bad about it. Okay, so, you know, again, this thing is so new. It's not even a week old in my eyes. So um, let's see. Let's run down. Let's keep running down the prices out here. So you got Bitcoin there at, uh, let me refresh. Bitcoin there at 11.452. Make sure make sure that's uh, Bitcoin there at 11.424. Ether, 3.85. Ether taking a little rest here. Could be an opportunity. Ripple, 0.27. Some are pointing to Ripple as a potential coin. And uh, we'll be discussing that in a moment. Chainlink, a top five coin performing strong. 1456, Bitcoin Cash, 276. And how about Polkadot? Polkadot seems to be going head up with Bitcoin Cash there for that number six spot. Polkadot, the debut coin, uh, 561. And you got Bitcoin Cash at 276. Litecoin, $58. I read somewhere that uh, Charlie Lee started buying Litecoin again. I don't know if that's true or not, but maybe someone would want to look into that. Cardano there at 11 cents, up 3% in the past hour. Satoshi Vision slipping in the rankings, uh, as I, as it should, in my opinion. I don't like to see this in the top 10. Crypto.com there at 17 cents. Binance at 22.18. EOS, 312. Tezos, 342. Stellar at uh, 9 cents, almost 10 cents. And Cosmos at 8.11. So that that's what's going on out there, guys. We're going to be talking about potential blockchains for the U.S. digital dollar and... Um, Yesterday, we talked about this article, Boston Fed looking at 30 to 40 blockchain networks for digital experiments. Federal Reserve of Boston, one of 12 regional federal banks operating under the U.S. Central Bank, is evaluating more than 30 different blockchains to determine if they would support a digital dollars. What we're doing now is much more thorough, much more building a platform platform to see whether Distributed ledger can meet the needs of the U.S.-based central bank digital currency, says the Boston Fed senior vice president, Jim Cunha. Okay, they go on to say, "I I would think we're probably looking at 30 to 40 different 
either open source or private solutions, okay? And you know they're going to go with private solutions, guys, okay? You think it's going to be all, you know, decentralized and kumbaya? I think we're going to... I think we're probably looking at 30 to 40 different either open source or private solutions at a very high level first and then going doing a deeper dive into a few of them because we're in the early stages of this and we want to make sure we have the broadest view possible. Do you really think they're in the early stages of this? Come on, guys. In my opinion, it's locked and loaded, ready to go. But hey, keeps talking about it. Uh, the design needs. One thing that I uh, pointed out is that they said, we don't want to take some brand new consensus algorithm or cryptographic protocol and use it for country's national currency. Okay, they want something that's already been vetted in the real world, says um, Narula, which is the director over there at the Digital Currency Institute in MIT. So, uh, I don't know if this means that they're going to adopt an existing coin or just use their consensus consensus algorithm to create their own. Okay. But that being said, let's, uh, let's talk about some potential coins. Okay. And I think you guys, uh, are, are thinking logically when you bring up the ripple coin XRP. And as much as I don't like ripple, Okay, this is something that we've always said. Ripple is a banker coin. It may be a Trojan horse. It's a glorified database. It's truly not blockchain. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe, you know, this would be adopted. Okay, again, it's always been associated with the banksters and uh, as a technology to replace the current SWIFT system that the bankers are using. Okay, so it's something to consider. We know that they have been in bed with politicians. I believe Clinton sp- spoke at one of the Ripple initiatives. And I believe a Fed, I think, um, didn't Bernanke speak at one of their uh, junctions? I'm not sure. But, you know, it's something to consider, Ripple. And then uh, I did get a rumor sent to me uh, in an article stating that uh, Ripple will be the one. It's going to be backed by the dollar, which is, uh, excuse me, it's going to be backed by gold, which will also be backed by Ripple. And, um, yeah, you know, it's something to consider guys, you know, ripple it's, it's there. It hasn't gone away. And, um, I've always said it's a fake crypto. It's not a true decentralized blockchain. It's more like a glorified database. And because of that, it may be the one that they have instilled here as a Trojan horse to, uh, appear, uh, when the time is right or to awaken when the time is right. So, you know, it's something, it's something to consider. So I, w- I would definitely put them on the list as a potential blockchain for a U.S. digital dollar. Ripple. Ripple. Okay. Uh, another one that I, I, I said yesterday that I would consider, and this is, this is just a, a wild guess because I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know much about this technology here, is Polkadot. Uh, you know, Polkadot just appeared in the top 10. It seems to be sound. Uh, technological tech 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 wise um you know and this is all happening at the same time so you know i would just keep an eye uh you know i would consider it i would keep an eye on it i i I wouldn't say yes or no but i I wouldn't ignore it especially that this thing is in the top 10 so quickly okay and everything that i'm hearing about it has been positive i haven't heard anything bad now that also is a red flag to me Okay, that I'm only hearing good things about it is kind of a red flag. So, you know, it's suspect in that sense that, you know, who knows who what, what the real story is behind this thing. So uh, I would throw polka dot in that list. Okay. Uh, I would, another one that I, I would put on that list. And I said, you know, the, the title of this video is five potential blockchains, but I think we're going to probably explore more than five. But um, let's keep going here. Another one that's on that, I would say potentially on that list is EOS. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, EOS Block One, which is the company that develops the software, they set up shop right next to DC and they've been basically lobbying, okay? And, uh, you know, they're creating like an ID system there. Not only is it smart contracts, but it will be able to manage an ID. And uh, that's something that I looked at. I'm like, ooh, a government may like this. You know, it, it could p- 
potentially maybe managed biometrics or whether you took the vax or not. I don't know. Or whether you paid your tax or not. And again, it's not only EOS that could do this, but I've saw sim- uh, already kind of a build out that hinted at this. And the fact that Block One has been pi- paying the piper, uh, you know, I would consider it. And again, guys, these are all just rumors and I'm basically making guesses. Okay. And of course, the top guess here would be Ripple. And I think most people uh, would agree. Crypto F says Polkadot is an old project, though. Yes, you're right. Yes, you are right. Okay, uh, that is con- that is true. But it's kind of rebranded and it's a new project now. It's Polkadot new. I think uh, the circulating supply is different uh, or not. I think it is, actually. Um but the fact that it's being rebranded and it's propelled there in the top 10, I would just keep an eye on it. That's all. Just keep an eye on it. So, you know, I would keep an eye on Ripple. Okay. The case for Ripple is obviously higher than most of these other coins. And you guys know why. Uh, keep an eye on Polkadot. Keep an eye on EOS. Uh, some people mentioned Tezos, perhaps. You know, I would also keep an eye on Cardano. Okay. You never know about that. Cardano has been uh, peer reviewed. Okay. It's being peer reviewed and it's being handled more academically uh, than business-wise, I would say. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong, but, you know, I remember speaking to Hoskinson and he says, we're building this with the same degree of caution as someone would build like an airplane. You know, we don't want to just throw something up out there and and, uh, try to fix it after the fact. So, you know, I would, I would consider that as well. Now, I think that one that has kind of gone under the radar, one that we need to consider here, and this is one that I just came across uh, last night when I was reading more about this, is, where is it? Algorand. Okay, there it is, number 41. Okay, I'll tell you guys why. Let's, let's read a little bit more about Algorand here and uh, who's behind Algorand. You know what? I was reading better on CoinMarketCap. So let me pull up CoinMarketCap. And I'll tell you guys why in just a moment. Let me pull this up. Algorand may be a potential blockchain for U.S. digital coin. And I'll tell you guys why I think so. Okay, Algorand currently ranked number 39. It's at 55 cents. Total supply is a little bit over 3 billion. And the max supply will be about 10 billion. Uh, You can see Algorand is scalable, secure, and decentralized digital currency and transaction platform. Now, listen to the next line, guys. Founded by Turing Award winner and MIT professor Silvio Silvio McCalley, Algorand is a permissionless, pure proof-of-stake blockchain protocol. Okay? Founded by the MIT professor Silvio McCalley. What did this article just explain to us? Collaboration with MIT Digital Currency Institute. Okay. Keep an eye on this one, guys. How many... Okay, let, let, let's talk about this. I don't even know much about this digital currency initiative at the MIT, but, you know, it's 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 a branch of, of the school, right? It's basically, uh, you know, a section of the school. It's a, it's a you know, an initiative of the school. How many people are in this? Okay, how many professors? I don't know. Okay, but I will pretty much bet, okay, if there's an MIT professor that made a blockchain, okay, that's on the coin cap, I would pretty much bet that he's in this digital currency initiative that's backed by the Fed. Now, I don't have any direct evidence or anything like that, but, you know, put two and two together, guys. Okay, Mariana Island started using Algo digital currency. Uh, slice keeper says Silvio wasn't he the father of zero knowledge proofs see I I don't know I don't know about that but you know I'm seeing that he's uh, a professor at MIT I see that you know he's launched this coin I started researching a little bit more about Algorand and it seems like the techies like it you know the nerds like it Uh, you know the nerds seem to like it I I don't know you could read all about you know the the zero proof or I, I don't you know I'm not the techie guys okay I'm not the techie guy but uh, the techies seem to like it. So I wouldn't sleep on this one. Just keep an eye on Algo. Uh, they're they're uh, traded, I believe, on Binance uh, as well as other pr- platforms. Uh, you can see them. Coinbase, okay. And Coinbase, Coinbase. 
okay? Coinbase already has them, Binance, OKX, UOB. So um, there you go. Lucian says Cardano and Algorand would be the best choice, but both are somehow new. Silvio is very smart. So yeah, I did. I just uh, mentioned that. So so potential blockchains. Let's go back uh, and uh, recap so far uh, the potential blockchains here for a U.S. digital dollar. And again, this is my wild guess, guys. I'm not a programmer, guys. I don't have any inside information. I'm making guesses just like you guys. Okay, uh, you know, the first guess, this is a, a given, will be Ripple, right? Because it's always been associated with the banksters. Okay, uh, another one I said is uh, perhaps polka dot since it's new. I mean, I don't know, you know, a lot of people that the nerds seem to like dot. Okay, uh, Cardano for the reason I just said that, you know, how they're scientifically peer reviewed, and uh, you know, you can reference my interview with Hoskinson years ago, the uh, founder of Cardano. Uh, another one is maybe even EOS. I already gave uh, reasons why. Tezos was mentioned, but I, I don't know much about Tezos. But, you know, one that's screaming at me is Algorand, you know. And now uh, now that I mentioned, it seems like you guys already know about this gentleman, Silvio. I'm just learning about him. But um, Solution says, Silvio invented zero knowledge proof, which is used by many projects, and he won Turing Award for this. So there you go. Yeah, Derek says, yeah, Algo sounds good. Uh, Marlins here says, what up, champ? Uh, Jigarome says, I'm going to move there and buy an island. Uh, the Marshall Islands. So apparently they're already using it in the Marshall Islands. I don't know. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm throwing wild guesses here, guys. And I'm not saying that these blockchains are good or bad. My, my uh, guess would be is whatever they're going to choose is going to give them more power than they have now. Okay, so, you know, whether that benefits you or not, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Lady Plant says, I'm going to move. No, no, we read that. Why do you care so much about the digital dollar ripple and USD are trash bag? Cash is trash. Ray Dalio. There you go. Uh, we're making a guess. And I think that it's, it's relevant to what's going on here. Uh, but as I said, I, I don't believe that whatever is going to be presented as the new digital dollar is going to be any better than what exists now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get back to Kabumi with crypto, more crypto, less fed. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that, but you know, I think this is, uh, is relevant. This is something I've been saying from the beginning, Marlon. I said, watch out. You know, they're going to try to whip out the new Fed coin. So, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. Uh, Derek says, I've been hearing good things about Algo. Uh, let's see. I, you know, I've heard a couple things about them. And, you know, the only thing that's just came up to my radar is that, you know, they're in bed with MIT. Yeah, whatever. It's going to be another fiat. That's what I would expect. And you can even read it here in the article. It basically says it, right? Like what the guy says. Let me show you. Where is it? Did I show it to you guys? I'm, uh, there it is. It says, uh, this is what the, the gentleman over there, uh, uh, Vice President Jim Cunha said. He says, I think we're probably looking at 30 to 40 different either open source or private solutions. Guys, what do you think that this means? What do you think that this means? You know, open source or private solutions. What do you think they're going to go for, guys? So, you know, um, just keep an eye out. Just keep an eye out to what's going on. Der- Derek Smith says, yeah, it's definitely relevant. I agree. I agree. And I get it. I mean, listen, you know, the true boomers like Marlin and even myself, you know, we've been around. We don't want to hear about the government doing a coin or whatnot. It's like, you know, we, we're, we're trying to get away from that. Uh, but, you know, the fact is that, you know, I'm dealing with what's in front of us, guys. And what's in front of us is that it's looking like they're going to roll it out. Now, is that going to be good or bad for us? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, this seems pretty factual. Algo is targeted to be an enterprise coin. It's it's uh, interesting that, uh, you know, a lot of people are responding to this algo. So there you go. Uh, Marlon says Fed coin will get you less and less BTC. <laughs> yeah, you know what I feel, Marlon. I mean, like whatever the government's going to do, I don't expect them to uh, do it to my benefit. <laughs> you know, that that's the bottom line. I don't uh, expect them to do it to my benefit. But, I, you know, I got to keep an eye out because if there's a, a move, if there's something to protect my s- situation, I got to knowledge is power out here. So, you know, I need to know what's going on. 
I think you could agree with that, Marlon. Knowledge is power. You need to know, uh, you know, keep your enemy close. You got to know what they're doing. So check that out, guys. Uh, so let, let's let's recap a potential coins. I said Ripple. Uh, what else did I said? I said Ripple, maybe Cardano, Polkadot, maybe EOS, and maybe Algorand. Is there any other coins that uh, we here in the top, you know, maybe 50 or the top 100? I want to understand why I need someone to manage my Roth Bitcoin IRA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, KC said, saw a document that said new quantum financial system is running side by side already as a test with the Swift system till they get rid of Swiss. I bet they have picked it already. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the point that I'm trying to say, guys. It's like they got it picked already. And I've been saying this all. I've been saying this for a while. The, the, the coin is already there. You know, it's already there. Oh, that's another one. Stellar seems to look like the thing on the neck of the eagle on the cover of the economics magazine. Yeah, that's another one that I didn't mention. You know, Stellar's Ripple's little cousin. It's It's been moving. Uh, so, you know, I'd probably throw it up there, you know, and consider it. That will be number four soon, but by Ripple. Yeah, I mean, you know, this thing just propelled. And I'm glad I kind of I FOMO'd in, Marlon. I FOMO'd in to Dot and I'm up. I FOMO'd in, you know, I'm not really a FOMO guy. You know, I had a couple, you know, a couple hundred there extra on the sidelines. And um, I FOMO'd it. Not ETH, says Bismarty. You know, I, I considered that. But, you know, I'm, I'm seeing ETH and they look like, you know, they look like Putin is, is backing them. You know, I don't know if, if they're USA friendly. And furthermore, Bismarty, forget about the politics. The utilization capacity in Ethereum uh, is not prepared to handle a U.S. digital dollar in its current form. You know that's bottom line here, you, and you know that it, most people do. You know, it, it, you know the right now, it, you know a, as is right now, the, the fees are through the wall, roof. Seems to be another bankster baby, stellar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I considered ETH, and you know maybe I'd be wrong. I mean, and again, this is me guessing, guys. I don't, you know, I'm just making a wild guess out here. And uh, I've, t- I've actually guessed more than five potential blockchains. So, you know, it's a little bit more than what the title says. But uh, I would say, uh, you know, Ripple would be my first guess. Okay. And you're right, Toronto, you know, Stellar could probably be a close second because they're so closely related. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm throwing just Dot out there because, you know, it's just coming out of nowhere. And, you know, it may be like a perfect timing, you know. Uh, another one is EOS because of how they've been lobbying to the U S government. They literally set up shop right out of DC. Okay. Um, Tezos, some people mentioned it, but I I don't know. Uh, but then Algorand Algorand is the one that seems most closely related to MIT. So there you go. Rule out anything with open nodes says, uh, Think you, yeah, well, it says so Crystalzilla will need to be an in-house and private. Everyone in the world will be looking to hack whatever it is. Yeah. Slice says, why is Q so into Ripple? I haven't seen Q directly into Ripple Slice, but I know a lot of people that support that community have been talking about Ripple. And uh, I told you some of the, you know, the new King of England people and the new, uh, the Nassara people, you know, that group that kind of overlaps with Q have been sending me things about Ripple's going to be the one. It's going to be backed by gold. I mentioned this the other day. I mean, and again, I don't, I don't follow that closely. And I'm honestly, I'm not into all that, but you know, I, I'll listen. I'll take a, you know, I'll take a little listen. As long as people are not trolling me, you know? So, um, but you, you make a point there. I, I don't know, you know, uh, slice, but you've noticed it as well, you know? Uh, so, you know, I would say Ripple, Stellar, uh, polka dot cardano eos and algorand there's six right there off the top and i'm sure there's other potential ones but you know i would say those are the first that come to mind maybe i should change the uh, the title to six but that being said guys i'm with marlin too to expect that any of the u.s digital coin or anything is going to save us uh nah, no 
make sure you know what's going on. Just I, I want to set the stage, the the scene out here, so you know what's what, what you're dealing with. Okay, you got to keep the enemy close and just know what's what's happening. That X makes me think that's a signal. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Marlon says, dumb noobs are attracted to Ripple. Yeah, a lot of noobs are, Marlon. You're right. I mean, I've actually had a few noobs contact me in the past couple of weeks, and they're, oh, I'm getting into, uh, you know, crypto. What do you think about Ripple? It's like a lot of people say that. And you know why, uh, Marlon? I mean, it's it's not necessarily so dumb on the f- surface. It's like their logic is not that bad. It's like, oh, well, this is associated with the bank, so it, may, it must move. And listen. You know, that's not that dumb to think, okay, that, you know, if it's associated with the bank, it's going to go up. I mean, look at the stock market. It's a fraud. We know it's all, it's, it's, it's illegitimate, I would say. It's associated with the bank, yet it's going up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, that's how I'm looking at it, Marlon. But we're on the same page. Keep your enemy close and your crypto closer. Boom, boom. Okay, keep your... Keep your fiat close, but your crypto closer. Boom! Boom, boom! Shout out to Marlon, a day one boomer. Lady Plants, uh, one of the leading crypto chicks in the space. Shout out to KC, Slice Keeper, Biz Marti, and the rest of the boomers. I'm just giving wild guesses out here, guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not happy about the US digital dollar or not, but, you know, I've been calling it. Don't act like the champ didn't tell you guys. To look out for this stuff. The Epstein Island kind of love people like EOS. Maybe they got their hands in the Fed. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, you know, that EOS community, the 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 block uh, block one, you know, they they've been uh, associated to it with Epstein like behavior. Uh, so, you know, I'm considering everything. So there you go, guys. Shout out to Marlon Lady, Jigger Romes, and the rest of the boomers. These are my wild guesses, guys. And, you know, honestly, I, you, know, you know how I feel about Ripple. I don't have any Ripple, you know. I don't have any Ripple. But uh, the fact is, is that if someone told you a Ripple is going to be associated with the Fed, would you be all that surprised? Probably not. You know, recently dumped a pile of Ripple at 31 cents. There you go. So, I mean, even Marlon's trading it. So, um Let's see. I mean, if you if even forget about this Fed stuff, even if you told me, oh, you know, Ripple boom to, to 60 cents, champ, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Crypto F says Brock Pierce for president so they can prosecute him. Yeah, I heard about uh, the allegations or whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's why I, I've added them to the list. So boom, boom, boom. Think about it, guys. It's just, it's just things to consider here. Um, as uh, the Fed looks into these blockchains, my 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 guess is that they already have it. They're just playing along, you know. How about uh, Lend token booming, booming? How about Lend is booming? Yearn is starting to move, and uh, so is Ren. I, I bought the dip on Ren. Got banned up twelve percent in the past twenty four. There we go. How about it? I was in the red with banned. I gotta check my bag. Hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm I'm green now. I got Kyber going uh, green as well. I gotta say, this DeFi has treated me well. Ave number one in locked DeFi assets. You got it. That's right. Ave number one. Lend number one is in locked up uh, DeFi assets. You got it. Uh, uh, pulling ahead of Maker and Compound, which has been around. Uh, interesting. Slice says my picks are Algo, then Cardano biased on the second one uh you know what i, I think your your picks are uh, are pretty good um you know i'm not i'm not trying to order them in, in importance because i have no idea but yeah algo definitely seems really close to uh the fed and mit just by you know who's associated who the creator is build that kyber bag yeah shout out to a uh, marlin i think he was the first person to uh point out to me champ the the, the kyber staking ETH. And I'm like, hold I knew it was taken, but are you sure it's ETH? And he's like, yeah, it's ETH, it's ETH. And I'm like, all right, boom, boom. So, yeah, you know, I got a bag of, of, of KNC. You know, I'm, I'm bagging up the KNC. You know, I got, I got the, the vacuum sealed. I got them vacuum sealed baggies of KNC there, just uh, staking up. 
Crystal Zilla put the meme up on D Live. Where's he at? There you go. This guy jumping off the train. <laughs> Let me throw fifty in the the bucket over here. If I get a couple more people here on D Live, I'll pass out some some lemons. So recap, guys. Uh, we got six coins on our list. I said five, but whatever. Uh, Ripple, okay. Uh, Dot, Cardano, EOS, Algorand, and maybe Stellar. If I'm missing anyone, you know, uh, drop a, a comment. You need 2,000 KNC to vote and be profitable with current ETH fees. Okay, okay. And KC says, yep, they already have it, just like the technology that they released to let us know about. They've already been using it for years. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my guess. Everyone talking about how Ether needs to scale right now. The dinner party hasn't arrived yet. EOS scales and keeps dropping in market cap. What does that tell you? Uh, you know, the EOS is not the only one that scales. I mean, look at look at Polkadot. P- Polkadot scales and it's rising in market cap. So, you know. What does that tell you too? It's, you know. And again, I like Ether. I think that Ether has potential. I think Ether is going to move. But as is right now, the utilization capacity is maxed out and the gas fees are high. Maybe they fix that. Let me take a a peek over here to uh, D-Live. I'm I'm waiting for a couple more people on D-Live so I can pass out these lemons. Let me look at the stocks and see if there's any deals and steals out there. Indices, all-time high this week, guys. You got S&P there at 34.53, Dow there at 28.221, crude oil in the green. Uh, Your metals are back in the green. Gold at 1945, silver there at 27. Silver up another 3%. Wow. You got bonds. Uh, The 10-year yield is looking strong right now, 0.71, up 3%. That's a lot of movement for a 10-year yield. Uh, and then you got the cryptos, most of them in the green, okay? And notice one thing, okay? I don't know, I, I, you know, look at the coins that they list here. Trading view, this is just by default. Bitcoin, ETH, which I always said are the default blue chippers. Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, which has a name brand. You can't deny the name brand of Bitcoin Cash. Litecoin, which I've always considered a blue chip until, you know, the past couple of years that, you know, Although, you know, I heard that that uh, Charlie Lee started buying again. I don't know if that's true. And what's random to me is this, IOTA. Why they, they still got, who's talking about IOT? But that's interesting. But yeah, notice it's, it, you know, Ripple's there. Ripple's there and uh, it's always been there, silently there, you know. And I've, I've, I've never liked Ripple. You, you know how I feel about the rips, guys. All right, we got four on D Live. Let's go ahead and pass out these lemons. Share a couple stickers, a couple memeage. Got some Kermit the Frog on you guys. Throw a little Building Seven on you guys. Two planes hit two buildings, and three collapse at free fall speed. It makes all. It makes complete scientific sense, guys. Right. Just like shutting down the whole entire world for a so-called flu that kills less than 1% of the population. Makes complete sense. Boom, let's make this happen. Five people now. Let's go distribute rewards. Click claim rewards, 30 seconds.
<laughs> no one clicked claim rewards. You guys are funny. At least yesterday we had a few people win. Boom. Well, I can't do another uh, p- p- distribution until about 15 minutes because of the system. So you guys are out of luck. Something Digibyte. I like to dream and think they have more integrity than that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know just what to say about Digibyte. I mean, I see a lot of people out there, but I haven't handled Digibyte enough to, to say whether it'd be considered for a potential blockchain with the U.S. digital dollar. Long-term view on Ether and Ether Classic. Uh, I would say short to midterm Ether is going to gain on Bitcoin. Ether Classic, I, w- I thought would r- ride the coattails of Ether. Uh, and I had a position on Ether Classic a few months ago, but I dumped it. Tony says there's plenty of time for Ethereum to scale. Yeah, there is. And I think that's uh, why why uh, Ether is going to is going to scale. I think it is. Toronto says sold all my Litecoin for some true crypto Monero. Yeah, let me like I, I've said this and I say it again and again. The real crypto on the block, the real fungible coin there in the top 20 is Monero. That, that's, you know. And I, I, I wouldn't expect the Fed to adopt Monero. The big question is, is whatever blockchain they adopt, I bet you the coins won't be fungible. That's it. The coins won't be fungible. Fungibility is a major issue. They don't want any fungibility. They want all, basically all the, the, the bills marked. All right, guys, I'll take a few more comments and questions and I'm out of here. Actually, you know what? Let's look at our, our portfolio, our, our uh, community portfolio, our DeFi. Our DeFi bag. Are we outperforming Bitcoin? That's what we need to know here. You tell me, guys. Are we outperforming Bitcoin or not? $16,000 here on our DeFi bag. We started with ninety one fifty when Bitcoin was ninety one fifty. We're been We're doing all right. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I told you guys. DeFi, DeFi. Remember when the champ would tell you guys? DeFi is going to be the talk of the town. Just wait till after the Bitcoin halving. So boom, how about it, guys? And uh, well, what do we have in our bag here? We got Lend, Flexa, Bancor, which is not doing that well, Synthetics, Compound, Kyber, Kava, and Curve. So there you go. You think Ether will go to proof of work soon? How long? Uh, I think that most are expecting it to happen uh, sometime this year, around October. But, you know, listen, uh, Derek, we've been promised this stuff for uh, a long time, you know, but you got to understand what's driving the market now is the expectation, the fear of missing out, the greed. And in fact, uh, you know, if they actually do announce the news that they're POS, I may even dump it, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news, right? Market is skyrocketing for more vax news. Unreal. Yeah, yeah. It's like right now, it's what drives markets fear and greed. Right now, the greed is higher than the fear. And that's it. Fear, it's, it's not like true economics or, or like, you know, all the stuff that you learned in school. That stuff applies. But what really runs the game out here is fear and greed. Digibyte is very decentralized. That's not what the Fed needs. I don't know if it's decentralized or not, but I would agree that uh, the Fed doesn't want something that's super decentralized. Nor fungible, for that matter. All right, guys. I'll take a few more comments and questions. We checked out our DeFi portfolio, looking strong. You know, I'm thinking about whether I should close that one out and start like a whole new portfolio. Maybe that's a, that's another thing that we could do. Roku is booming today, up 10%. What's up with Roku? Roku up 10. Slack is up another 8%. Lend Ave token. Tesla rip. Tesla at, uh, Tesla at 2115. Wow. Facebook ripping. I mean, the market doesn't stop. It's like there. It's on crack. 
it, this thing has been ripping. The, the, the traditional markets have been ripping. They've been on so on fire that I haven't been able to get an order in. This thing is moving faster. I'm not going to chase it down. So, I'm, you know, I've been putting my orders in where I feel like it should be. And I can't. It's, it's like, you know, people outbid me. I'm, I'm being outbid for the past. I haven't been able to get in a play. Uh, every week I have a play. Last week I couldn't get into one. And this week I still don't have a play. And the way it looks like it, it, it I probably won't be able to get in a play for this week. Um, you know, that's what it is. You know, in that meantime and in between time, though, we made some DeFi gains. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Shout out to Cabbage, Casey, Christozilla, Derek, and the rest of the boomers, guys. Drop comments if you're catching this on the replay. I want to know what your opinion are. What are the potential blockchains that the Fed may adopt for the U.S. digital dollar? Okay, and let me, uh, again, uh, share this Coindesk article, which talks about them collabing with MIT. And the one that's really sticking out is Algorand, which is created by a MIT professor and um, the nerds like it you know that's another thing the nerds seem to like it the the computer nerds so and shout out to the computer nerds that you know when I say the computer nerds that's not any in any way a derogatory statement I mean the computer nerds are cool as long as they exercise okay don't look like Vitalik you could be a computer nerd and you could still pull a little weight. You don't got to get all swole. I just need you to in shape. Furious Cabbage says, I'm a nerd. Well, hopefully you exercise. You don't need to be, you know, looking like, you know, Conan the Barbarian. But I need you not looking like Vitalik. Yeah, shout out to the nerds. that They're, you know, the guys that have been working on these projects behind the scenes. Shout out to them. Shout out to main event. It's been a while. Good good morning, sir. White and Nerdy is my official theme song, says Furious Cabbage. I don't even know what that is, but go. If that's that's you, do it. Just as long as you're uh, exercising. I don't care of the color. And uh, shout out to the nerds. That's cool as long as they're exercising too. At what point, and who created the campaign that people that want to be educated or that think academically or intellectually at what point did did mainstream label them nerds like who did this you know at one point people would like idolize professors and and uh intellectuals remember like albert einstein was like a pop star right wasn't albert einstein like a pop star Ethereum is currently in a competition with Polkadot, Cosmos, Tezos, Elrond, and some others. Do you think it is an equal market cap competition or is just competition in a certain aspect? I don't know what you're asking. You're saying market cap competition? They're in competition for an application, for a solution uh, to uh, decentralized applications, for blockchain, for smart contract platforms. And that, by definition, is directly correlated to its market cap, right? Probably sometimes in the 80s, remember v- Revenge of the Nerds? Hmm. Okay, okay. I, I, I remember Revenge of the Nerds, but I, I, I'm thinking that the nerd was invented before that. But I don't know, I, like, you know, this is, this is actually a whole entire thing that someone could look into, like, w- the idea of, of a nerd and, you know, f- making it unpopular to be smart. Because remember, at one point, I mean, like, you know, I, I, you know smart people were, were, were popular. But somewhere, you know, Holly Weird, it could be with the Revenge of the Nerds, but I don't think so. I, I think it's, it, it, it's way before that. But maybe I'm wrong, I mean, Are all of them working on a similar application or is Ethereum working on many others to the side, meaning Ethereum's market cap should overall way be higher than others? They're all working on uh, similar demand for applications, not not the exact same same applications. You know, they're all coming at it in a different way. 
and again ethereum is decentralized so it's not like the the ethereum people are you know it's like if you have a project on ethereum you know um and look i've said this i think that ethereum's valuation is higher than it actually is reflected on its market cap. Why? Because it has a lot of ERC-20 tokens that are built on it that are very valuable. For example, Chainlink. Chainlink's market cap is not added to Ethereum's market cap, but I would argue that it is. The thing here with uh, Ethereum, it has most of the development and a lot of talent on it, but at the end of the day, the utilization capacity is not where it needs to be. So the market cap could be comparable as an Eltron can be gaining its market cap up to above Ethereum. I think that if you're trying to just compare by market cap, that's that's not the way to look at it. I, I, I'm not, I don't compare on, on market cap. But, you know, I, I can see how, how that train of thought runs, but, uh, you know, comparing Elrond's mar- market cap to Ethereum, it's like, Ethereum's a blue chip coin that's been around. All these other coins are highly spec. They probably don't even have applications or smart contracts running yet. Like for instance, Cardano has a great idea. The testnet's running, but smart contracts are not functional yet. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I, I you know I don't I don't I don't do just straight up mark and cap comparables to to compare apples to oranges. Jigarome said it all started when stupid kids started beating up the smart kids for acting smart. Oh, so like when the mob starts. Mob rules what you're talking about, Jigarome. I don't know, though. I'm just trying to see like where in, in, in culture did it, like it start being branded. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, stupid kids beating up smart kids, but that's not a branding. That's not a movie. That's not uh, media. You see what I'm saying? Uh, the term was popularized in the 1970s in the sitcom Happy Days. Uh, so what this done on purpose, was this done on purpose by Hollywood? I don't know. That's just what I'm trying to say. It's just like there was a point where intellectuals and smart people were kind of like pop culture. Like they were more idolized. Now, at what point that I'm, I'm just asking the question, at one point did it be unpopular to be smart? You see what I'm saying? Like, what? who came up with the, the idea of being a nerd? Because, I mean, le- listen, if you're a nerd back in the days, that was good. Like, you you were smart. You know, when did being smart be associated with not being cool or something? Started as a character in Dr. Seuss in the 50s. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a whole entire video. and It, just, it doesn't relate to crypto, but you know what the deal is. Uh, you'll be surprised that most of these chains have few users and less money flowing through them. Yeah, you will be. That's right, Marlon. You will be surprised. A lot of people don't see that. Jigger Rome says when women went for athletes instead of brainiacs. That's not true, though. I mean, women's been going for athletes since. Like, I mean, how about cave women? You know, they, they you know, people, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I think, I, you know, so you may want to ask a woman about that. Probably another CIA word like conspiracy. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is that nerd seems like a neuro-linguistic programming because the concept of a nerd didn't even exist more than 100 years ago. Like, you know, what, try to find it in antiquity. Like, what was what, a nerd? What, what does that mean? You know, a nerd, like pop culture don't even exist. You see what I'm saying? ETH, Tron, and EOS are the only chains that matter and EOS is losing more and more dApps users to Tron. I don't know if they're the only one that matters, but you're right. The fact that, you know, they're the ones that actually have usage. You know, obviously, uh, ETH has plenty of dApps running on it. Tron as well. And then EOS does support a lot of apps. But you are right, Marlon. It's using, it's losing more and more of its users to uh, other platform. And that's interesting because at one point, remember that EOS was taking market share away from ETH? Even taxes show that for now, only Bitcoin and ETH matters. That's where all the monies are, says uh, Lucian. Random says, it hasn't been a thing in the Netherlands, though, the nerd thing. Being smart in the Netherlands is just being above others' hierarchy even. Here, we don't like the smarter people. So, you don't like smarter people. 
So what, what is, I don't understand that. Like, I don't, I, I just don't get it. But that's a different meaning. Like the nerds here are the ones that get 10 years of degree. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't like smart people. That's only if you're, you're conflating smart people with privilege. And that's a whole nother thing. Like there, there's, there's a, that's two different things. Yeah, some privileged people may end up being smarter, but you know, you got plenty of people that are underprivileged that are very smart. Yep, champ, exactly what I was saying, neuro-linguistic programming. I like self-taught smartness, says random. Well, I'm also talking about just potential, you know, like this, I'm, I'm talking about like inherit IQ, you know, some people have more potential than others, you know, and you, and, and you say that and, and, you know, you rub those that are pro-equality the wrong way. But I, I would say, you know, no, it's not about equality, guys. It's about merit. And some people have other advantages than others. Not everybody's born equally the same height or equally the same color or equally the same length. So, you know, the whole equality thing is a major scam, in my opinion. The Bible don't talk about equality, guys. Yeah, but that's something to consider, the, the whole nerd thing. That's, that's, a, that's a concept that I've had in my, the back of my mind for years now. Like, yo, who made up this nerd stuff? Like, you know, when did all of a sudden it become not desirable to be a, a nerd? Or even be labeled that for that matter, because it's like. Lady Plant says better than pretty boys. Yeah. After World War II, the boom times of the 50s had muscle cars rock and rolled and the educated were starting to be shunned. Hmm. I wonder if that's sort of like right after uh, the Frankfurt School came into the United States and uh, after Operation Paperclip was installed, instilled. I don't know. Again, I'm just asking questions. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start tuning down. Jigarome says it's a shaming tactic, tactic to dumb us down, not pro- proud of being smart. Yeah, you, now, now you're thinking, Jigaromes. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously asking leading questions. See if maybe you guys can start answering for yourself like Jigaromes. Just ask the questions, guys, and see where it leads you. Even the whole question of like, what, did nerds even exist before? Or is, he, is, is a nerd just something that's made up? Perhaps nerds don't even exist, yet they made you believe they, they did. Operation Paperclip is something everyone should study. I know, I know. It's not a shung thing in Asia. This place is a cram schooling central. And Edward Bernays, however you spell his sick name. Yeah, old Eddie. And his cousin, Freud. I believe they all, they uh, are uh, bagel aficionados as well. Just a coincidence. That's another book that everyone should read, guys. Like, you know, especially if you're in media or anything. Anybody, should, that, that book should be a must read for uh, everybody in school, Edward Bernays' propaganda. Get it through your head. Uh, propaganda. The father of propaganda. Uh, just check 24-hour users. ETH has 24,000. Tron has 179. EOS has 21,000. The rest are trash. <laughs> Although Adam is growing tremendously. There you go. Now, the question, though, I, uh, I asked, though, Marlon, is that are those users... How do you know they're not, they're not all bots? That's the whole thing. Because I remember someone saying, that, yeah, they say that EOS has more transactions, but a lot of them are bots. Um, and at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because the truth is that EOS, Tron, and, uh, and ETH do, do have more users than all the other platforms. Bots or no bots. It's freeing, like Messiah says, when your eyes are open and their witchcraft doesn't work anymore. Exactly. 
Random Edit says you have a really good voice, man. Thank you. Um, I don't. I don't think it's the greatest, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the one that the Lord gave me, and the one we we will use. Eleven four fifty four on Bitcoin. It looks like it's taking a little spike out there, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and start tuning down. Enjoy the rest of my day, guys. Uh, just to think about this nerd concept as a as a sideline, you know, a whole philosophy things. I know some people don't get into it; and they just want to be crypto, 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 and that's good too. That's good too. But you know, the champ, uh, I touch on on several subjects, and that's probably why the the channel keeps surviving. Okay, because you just can't be cut and dry. You got to give them a little different types of flavors, and I guarantee there is no other crypto channel that covers all the things that we cover. And whether I got 15,000 or 150 subscriber or 150,000, it doesn't matter. We'll keep it 1,000. EOS traffic is a lot of bots. Yeah, that's what I heard too, uh, Marlon. And there, there's probably bots on all the platforms too. So there, there's a certain percentage that are bots. That being said though, uh, you're right. I think EOS, Tron, and um, ETH are the ones that are actually being used. On that note, I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Shout out to Crystal. Marlin, Random, KC, Jigger Ohms, and the rest of the boomers. Okay, guys, stay strong out there. It's the voice of the blockchain, Satoshi's big cousin, Crypto's finest, your favorite live streamer's favorite live streamer. Champion Crypto.